The most powerful fighter jet in the world is now arriving in Poland. The fifth generation fighter jets are part of the 90th Fighter Squadron, part of the U.S. Air Force's third wing at Joint Base Almendorf Richardson, Alaska. They will reach 32nd Tactical Air Base in Lask, Poland via RAF Lakenheath in England. Once deployed, the unit will be referred to as the 90th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron and will be supporting the NATO Air Shielding Mission. The NATO Air Shielding Mission brings together Allied air and surface-based air and missile defense units under NATO's command and control. The U.S. Air Force said in its release that mission will provide a near-seamless shield from the Baltic to Black Seas, ensuring NATO allies are better able to safeguard and protect Alliance territory, populations, and forces from air and missile threat. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why F-22 Raptor in Poland is the worst nightmare for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Poland is strategically located, sharing long borders with Belarus and Ukraine. The country has become a staging ground for foreign arms and other military supplies heading into Ukraine. Poland itself has provided various weapons like tanks and howitzers. The nation is also taking significant steps to bolster its own defenses that include acquiring Abrams main battle tanks from the US as well as howitzers and aircraft from South Korea. Viewers may note that Russia has recently warned the West. Konstantin Gavrilov, the head of Russia's delegation on arms control, said in Vienna, "...increasing supplies of Western weapons to Kyiv may force the Russian Federation to take tougher actions. It seems NATO is not taking any chances." F-22 Raptor is an engineering masterpiece designed for first look, first shot, first kill. It is the first operational aircraft to combine super cruise and super maneuverability. Super cruise is the ability to have sustained supersonic flight without having to use highly inefficient afterburners. With this, F-22 can intercept targets which subsonic aircraft would lack the speed to pursue and an afterburner-dependent aircraft would lack the fuel to catch. This is possible due to the very powerful dual Pratt & Whitney F-119PW100 afterburning turbofan engines. F-22 has a speed of Mach 1.82 during supercruise. The ANAPG-77 radar equipping F-22 features a low observable, active aperture electronically scanned array that can track multiple targets under any weather conditions. It has a range of around 400 kilometers or around 250 miles against a one square meter target. This radar can also be used for electronic attack by focusing its signals on the enemy to overload their sensors. The radar changes frequencies more than 1,000 times per second to resist jamming and has a low probability of intercept, meaning enemy radar warning receivers are not able to detect that a radar lock has been achieved against it. Raptor is also now equipped with Link-16, through which it can connect with military aircraft as well as ships and ground forces, exchange tactical pictures in near real time. F-22 Raptor is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. F-22 is the stealthiest fighter ever built 
and has a very low RCS radar cross section of only 0.0001 square meter. It achieves this due to its structural design as well as the use of radar absorbing materials or RAM. Raptors can't be detected by most radars. Even if some radars are able to detect it, they'll find it very hard to track it and have a radar lock. Hence, Raptor can strike with its plethora of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons without the enemy knowing it's there in the first place. Apart from Raptor, Poland's airspace is now defended by Poland's own F-16s and MiG-29s. F-35As flying from Spangdelem in Germany, as well as U.S. Marine F-A-18 Hornets from the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing MAW, are also present at Lask Air Base. It is clear that sending the F-22 Raptor is part of an increased effort by the U.S. and its NATO partners to boost the aerial presence in the region as they face growing rhetoric from Russia. Russia has no operational fifth-generation stealth jet, with the serial production of Su-57 delayed due to technical issues and may not commence before 2027. Su-35, which is currently its most potent fighter, has been shot down in Ukraine with not-so-sophisticated systems and hasn't been able to carry out proper SEAD or Suppression of Enemy Air Defense missions clearly demonstrating it has many shortcomings. In this situation, F-22s will provide a massive advantage to NATO in case Russia initiates any hostile action against Poland. In April, when a discussion in relation to imposing a no-fly zone was going on, U.S. Air Combat Analyst Connor Hall suggested to the AviationGeekClub.com that 8 to 12 Raptors could sanitize the skies over Ukraine within an hour. Overall, it can be stated that the arrival of Raptor in Poland is very bad news for President Putin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.